Welcome back. We are going through the outward walkthrough once again on Monday. I think is the day this is going up. Honestly, I lose track of whenever because I recorded such a ahead of schedule type situation, but I fucked up. I fucked up, boys. One of my quests got just so bizarrely long and I was recording it and I was going through it. And then as I was recording, it got just the footage was just awful. It was Oh god, I hate I hate it. So what I'm referring to is stealing fire where we have to bring the large Chalcedony stone backpack to the charging station inside the depths of the eldest brother volcano. If you don't know where this is, I'm gonna do I'm gonna redo this quest at a later time, but as of right now, since I'm past it, we might as well work on this next quest, which I think is the one that everyone gets stuck on. The Chalcedony Crystal Charging Station is super easy. You just go into old Shirako go towards if you've completed the entire area and flip both the switches all you have to do is cross the bridge and go through the door by that mantis and then just follow the path down if you speed run it you guys can just literally get it done in a few minutes but there are a bunch of obsidian like deer things down there that are super tanky so bring tanky armor frost rags and you'll just clean it up real quick but like i said i will come back to this whenever i get a chance to but I want to focus on this quest that actually was a pain in the ass. Of course, I'm talking about Liberate the Sun. This is the number one most requested quest that everyone has asked me about, and I am going to go through the whole process with you. Now, the first part of this is to build upgraded buildings, so I went with the Gladiator's Arena so I can, you know, get my cool move, so I can do this cool flip move. I love this. It's super awesome, but this is the upgrade that i got for my gladiators arena and we also have the blacksmith which is up here uh i don't really pay too much attention to this one though is this the blacksmith yeah this is the blacksmith i went with the weaponsmith i think i went with the weaponsmith i don't know actually i don't think i did i don't remember what i did either which way uh i upgraded my buildings we also have city hall which is in the front over here along with our three houses so we've got two houses over there and another house right there and that's pretty much it is as to what you guys pick for your buildings that's up to you you don't have to copy me or do whatever you do what you want anyway we need to speak with evangeline valier about the temperature control method which this one is going to be talking to the Jin, i believe so we'll, we'll we'll come back here in a second okay so our log has been updated so we have the quest liberate the sun still and a noble may have a method to help keep the Jin power in check this is over in the oil refinery which will go over here in one moment but essentially we need to do two things we need to activate two levers and then we need to talk to a Jin, and uh we also need to talk to a noble so actually we have like four things to do not really two things but point being is that this is going to be sort of a long one we're just outside new shirako so from here we're gonna follow up this road and we're gonna look for the arc so we need to head to the right over here towards this uh weird crystal i, I forgot what this the, the the pylon or something i don't know, i forgot what it's called but we're coming over here and you don't have to follow exactly what i'm doing but the arc you can kind of see it way over there so we need to go past the crystal and head towards that direction and as you can also see to the left where i'm facing that is the oil refinery that's one of the places we are going to have to go to at some point so these are just kind of landmarks for you to kind of see where we're going and you know what direction. Now we're going to head towards this uh, crystal over here, head on top of these mountains. Uh, let's see if we can find a safe way down. I think we can actually just slide on down here real quick and we can try not to use Code Sonic. By the way, don't use Code Sonic on hills. You'll like fly off them and accidentally kill yourself. So if anything, just slightly tap it so that way you don't kill yourself. Okay, let's jump on over here now and i think we're getting pretty close i can see the arc still over there so now we're gonna head over here now this right here another landmark this is another place we're going to need to go to but you might be wondering how do we cross this i need to get over there well what you're gonna do is go this way and then just around the corner up here there's going to be a pathway up through this little like bridge over this oil up here and then we go this way and then bop it a boopy you see this pathway and it leads directly down and there you go it goes right to the pipe however we need to talk to the noble before we even attempt this so what we're going to do is keep heading this way towards the arc and we should be fine so we keep going down this way think up this path over here and if we keep following over this weird kind of pathway 
head up this way and boom there we go we have the art now there are typically enemies walking and roaming everywhere so you can either deal with them or uh you can just run past them and go directly for the door it's kind of up to you this guy hits me once this is rude all right i'm just trying to do my thing can you just get out of my way thank you oh my god i hit this man so hard i i broke his head poor bastard didn't even stand a chance once you're in the arc of the exiled you're going to see this kind of fireplace right here and there's probably going to be more enemies up this way i suggest you kill the enemies because they literally will follow you all the way down to where you want to be and that's that's just not bueno oh dodge this way hello sir boom poke right here dodge this way dodge this way and then boom go this way and then hit him another pokey poke and dead I'm going to come out with a combat guide soon, like a really, uh, not, not super in-depth, but I think just enough to get people interested because I feel a lot of people struggle. I've been getting a couple comments recently and reading a bunch of reviews talking about how the combat just is so hard to get into and I just don't see it. I really don't. It's, it's so easy to me, but I've been playing the game for a year now non-stop, so I get it that there might be like a skill gap for me, but I just, if you just play the game or even try the game, like y you'll, you'll get... The fluidity of it it's not too complicated but we'll save that for a different video i realized that i got caught up talking about something else but this is the entrance uh no, no 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 the entrance is over here so from here we're going to go downstairs you can go exploring if you want this way there's a couple things and creatures that you can take down if you so as much wish i don't care to we're just here to do the quest so downstairs is where we want to be Whoa, what the? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, furry man. What are you doing, man? This guy's out here trying to... Oh, ah! Why, God? Why does it? Why, why have you forsaken me? Now, once you come down these stairs, you're going to have two options. Left or right. You always go left. And eh, there's nothing really in here. I'll take this this uh, halberd, though. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. There's going to be a specimen here. We should grab this up while we can. Mole pig. Nice. Ooh. And... Yep, I, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Look at this. Look at these animals coming towards me. Watch this sicko mode bait, guys. They won't even know what's about to happen. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sneak attack them. Let's see here. Watch this. Yeah. Oh my god, it didn't work. My ability didn't work. That's so depressing. All right, I'm just gonna hit him with one of these, and then I'm gonna bop, bop. There, he's going down. This guy's going down, and then just swing. There we go. Cool. These guys are dealt with. Oh, god damn it. I can't believe my ability didn't go off. That's really shitty. I'm assuming I got caught on something. Like, I tried to jump, and I hit right here, and I think this happened, where I got stuck on the railing, so it didn't cause the ability to go off because I couldn't make contact with the floor. So I think that was the issue. All right, so this man's in a cage. We're going to need to talk to him. As for dialogue options, do what you will. I'm just going to go through it, and then whatever happens, happens. All right, here we go, boys. We are all up in it now. So now these Scarlet Emissaries, kind of annoying to fight. Holy shit. Okay, I did, that, that's not... Um, th this is the, We're off to a good start, boys. All right, here we go. Knock him down. Bop, bop, bop bop oh god oh god okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on now hold on wait 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 first things first we need to drink a pot make sure we stabilize out then we're drinking the panacea to, to, to cleanse ourselves from the garbage and now we can go back in all right here we go fool one two and then oh i oh oh he's go he's doing the, the multi hit one oh dodge back and then slap here and he gets he should get knocked no oh i killed him oh thank god i thought i was gonna get hit by that debuff uh spike prison we'll take that we'll take the occult remains i don't really care about this other crap and boom there we go we got what we came for if you grab the amulet we're pretty much done here so now we're heading back up top going out here and we were going to exit the arc now oh hello okay i see what's going on here and i raise you a slap oh ooh, ooh, dead dodge this way watch this boys watch this watch this watch this sick bait watch it do something. Boom, right there. Boom, right here. And then check this out. Yee, 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 yee. Oh, it didn't kill him. Oh, shit. Poke. Oh, my God. Really? We're doing this. We're do uh, Why are you so tanky? Dodge this way. And then hit right here. Dodge that way. Dodge this way. Hit him with the pokey poke. Dodge back. All right, cool. Dead. Nice. I'm running through all my damn pots like crazy just to get that purple shit off my screen because I hate it so much. Anyway, so now that we're on the outside, we need to head to the oil refinery. And as you guys can kind of see those like little tubes up there with smoke, that's where we're going. Let's head back towards the sigil pylon, which is this way. And I think we need to make a right somehow. So we need to find a way to go up over here. So we come back down through here. 
and then uh we don't need to go into this one just yet we're not gonna come in here until the very last part of the quest so we're gonna head up this way and head towards all these like weird oil pylon things i'm not sure what these are even supposed to be but we're coming up here now once you're up here just kind of dance around in these areas until you find where the oil cave is which should be somewhere over here once you see these you're in the right area but uh the entrance is right i want to say here yep there we go wow it is super dark in here okay now that we're on the inside we need to head oh my god what in the actual really really this is how you conduct yourselves this is how we're gonna do these things you're just gonna you're just gonna absolutely assault me with the world's like most degenerate play style i've ever seen oh my god not like this bro please i just i'm, I'm just trying to live man all right get out of my sight watch this fool dodge this way oh you dumb oh oh here we go watch this watch this he's not gonna see this coming yee, 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 boom and he's not dead are you fucking kidding me get, die if i get this confusion debuff on me one more fucking time so here we're going to go this way where we killed those guys there's gonna be another uh uh those guys over there i don't really want to fight him but chances are i'm probably gonna have to yeah that's about right listen at this point i'm not playing around i'm buffing up all over the place all right listen here you want to throw down big boy let's let's throw down why watch this let's slam move right here here we go double slam move right here okay yeah yeah now you're bleeding you you, you all y'all y'all yeah, yeah yeah there it is there it is sit down stop stop challenging me you, you know you don't want any part of this at all dodge this way you too dodge this way poke him right here and then slap him down right here and then bop it a boopy dead Dude, put some respect on my name, okay? All these stupid ass furries challenging me in this game, all right? And then look at look at old boy here, boom, samurai, fucking gargoyle man. Yeah, nope, that's not happening. Watch this, boom, here we go. Predicted, predicted, and then watch this, boom, boom. Oh, here we go, here we go. You're looking, you're not looking great, man. Pokey poke right there and dead. Everyone thinks they can challenge the master, and little do they know, I'm the best in the world anyway now we can flip the switch that matters so bop there we go now we can actually just get out of here i'm pretty sure there's nothing else in here of value we just needed to hit that switch and okay fps hello what's going on here and because i'm feeling bloodthirsty i'm going to kill this guy because i just don't care anymore now what we're gonna do is go to the other entrance and we're gonna end up on that side over there and the whole goal is to get this oil pool thing to be reduced so that's why we flip the switch because it reduces the amount of oil within this river area situation so now let's go ahead and get out of here and head towards the other uh oil refinery area and i had to turn up the brightness it was mad dark and i apologize if i forget to do that sometimes whenever it goes to the night and day cycle i tend to kind of forget to turn the brightness up because during the night cycle sometimes the light on the lantern just doesn't hit right so i kind of just forget about it but anyway now we're going to head towards the new oil area and by new i just mean the other one once again we're going to be taking the pathway all the way towards the sigil pylon which is not really a pathway it's more like a degenerate uh path of situations but once you see kind of that building right there you're going to go back to the bridge that i referred to you uh, earlier in the video which is up this way now we're going up here we're going this way and then we're just following the pathway all the way down to the oil tube and here we are lads now we just go inside and get our and just get our business done huh this place is a lot uh different looking than i remember by different looking it's probably the same i just uh i've only been in here like twice so i don't really remember it uh so bear with me here we're gonna be uh exploring around together for this one now we do have some baddies over here so let's go ahead and deal with this bop it a boopy Hit him with one of these, and then boom. All right, he's down. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me hit him with a special move. And oh, I missed. Fuck. Now we need to deal with uh, old man Jenkins over here. So that's what we're going to do. Make a move, man. Make a move. Or don't. That's cool, too, man. I respect that. Here we go. One, two, stunned. Knocked down. Uh, nope. Knocked down right here. And then now, wait, no. Oh, my God. How are you not knocked down? Jesus Christ. Yo, my boy, just die. Thank you. All right. First lever. Flip this right here. And then the next one should be uh, somewhere in here. I want to say it's... Uh, where, where is it? Hold on a minute. There's another lever somewhere else. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, right. We need to 
lessen this lever right here. So what we need to do is go back this way where we flip this lever, then this will be down here. So you'll notice that this is not down either, which we need this down as well. So we need to go this way across over here, dead body on the floor. We'll, we'll go ahead and grab this, keep moving. And then this lever, we flip this one and then this will remove the, uh, what you call it from up top. So then we come back over here and then we go in here where the oil pool was. Now we are going to have to fight gargoyle man. So, uh, we can't really get around that. All right, sir, let's get it going. Or, okay, I guess he doesn't give a shit. Cool, see you later, nerd. I actually just walked past him. I was, I, I, if that doesn't work for you, I, I, I guess just kill him. Either which way, doesn't matter. Uh, dispose of him as you wish. And then we come back over here to where the pool was. And then we go this way. And in here, there's a couple bogeys. Uh, I think a tor crab and some other stuff in here. I don't really remember, actually. Oh, yeah, there's a tor crab. All right, we're going to hit him with the bop of the bop. And then we're going to hit him with one of these. And then one of these. No, oh, there we go. Okay, come on. Get knocked down. Knock him down. All right, there we go. No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. All right, here we go. Now I can hit him with one of these. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Cool. Ooh, what's in here? I actually don't remember ever going in here. What is this? Oh, hey, I forgot about this thing. Yeah, there's the, the there's this in here. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot all about it. Anyway, back to where things matter. We're going this way across this railing over here. And then there's going to be another gargoyle that we have to fight. And then we need to go that way as well. So we're going to go in here. I'm assuming I'm going to have to fight this guy. Or not. I, I guess not. Cool. Uh, th That's done. And now we have lessened the oil pool here. So let's go ahead and just kind of get these guys over with real quick. Oh, no. Oh, I dodged it. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Here we go. Hit him with the old one, two. And then slap right here. Boom. Come on, just die. Don't make me fight forever. Oh, my God, really? I just want you to die. There it is. Cool. Now, our key is right there. We pick that up. We can check the chest for goodies. Uh, poison varnish. Yeah, why not? Uh, sulfur potion. Yeah, why not also? Slayer's boots. Fuck yeah, we'll take that shit too. And then we're going to head back after we grab this key up by these boxes. Get that. And that's for the other oil area where we can go back and use it to get a gold chest in there, which is nice. And now we can actually open this gate, go over here, go through this gate. And now we can talk to Elephant Rat. So y'all can do as you wish. I'm gonna just speed through this and get this over with. Oh, look at this guy sneezing on me. Boom, hit him with one of these. Bop, bop. Oh God, ah, oh God, please have mercy. Hit him with one of these and then boom, boom. Come on, yeah, what, what, what? Oh, is he dead already? Cool. Look at this man thinking he can handle me. Oh, sh oh, did I actually dodge that? I think I dodged that. Oh, yep, here we go. Boom. Come on, get knocked down, son. One, two, and then watch this. Bop and a boopy. Hit oh my god, it missed. I hate this move. Dodge this way. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're chilling, boys. Dodge this way. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Hit him this way. Dodge this way. We're good. Pop him right there. Nope. Sorry, sir. Oh, that's still on cooldown? Oh, wait, actually, this is not on cooldown. Oh, shit, chill. Boom, right there. Bop, and we have completed it, lads. There you have it. How to slap the, the rat. Woo, we got the Jin lamp because I'm a greedy hooker. So there we have it, lads. Honestly, the real easy method to beating him, that was kind of like the hard method, but, you know, I'm sort of like <laughs> a master and such. But if you wanted to do that in a more simplified manner, just bring a bow, a lot of arrows and some poison stuff and just bleed him out. He literally is so immobile that you can dance around him all day. Even a gun build will work as well. Now we just go back to the start of the area and we get out of here and head back to town and we are done. Home sweet home after fighting literally everything on the way here, Jesus. So now we just talk to Evangeline and sort out that guy. Woo, liberate the sun is completed. Very, very simple. I know it was a pain in the ass whenever I first did it, so I understand your pain. I think the biggest problem was finding the noble, and I didn't know he was in the Ark of the Exiled, so that was rather annoying, but at least we sorted it out. Now, once again, we have some downtime, so don't worry about talking to Evangeline unless you're ready to proceed. For me, I'm going to go run and get some more money because we're going to need to build some more stuff because I think our buildings can now be up to about six i think or something on the lines of that i don't really remember what the number is but uh i, I just want to have a lot more money on hand so we're just going to take a break here 
and um hopefully uh we'll continue this on wednesday but yeah i'll talk to you guys later bye bye <laughs>